I know what you're thinking. Um, it's April 1st. Uh, this is a joke, right? Doesn't he normally do like joke videos on April Fool's Day or at least like have a video on theme? Well, I guess that's the trick because this is no joke. This is real. And so once again, I'm asking you guys to help out with Dead Last as I try something that I've never done before. Instead of ranking movies this month, we're ranking horror villains. And I want you to rank them as well. And, and I'm not getting fancy or anything. This isn't a who would win in a fight situation. I simply want you to rank them by either how much you like them or just how cool you think that they are. Like, just like your favorite. H how do you do this? Well, first up, let's see who's in the running here. The contestants are in alphabetical order. Number one, the Candyman. The, the idea here is that it doesn't really matter who portrays the killer and is more about the character in general. So you can go with any version, including Daniel Robitaille or the newer William Burke version. Number two, Chucky. Again, it, it's any version you want, whether you want regular Chucky, Frank and Chucky, or the multiple copy stylings of the TV show. Uh, not included though is the remake version. That's freaking Buddy, not Chucky, damn it. Number three, the Jin, otherwise known as the Wishmaster. Uh, not like there's a bunch of variations here, but he did have several people play him, and it's likely several different characters instead of just one constant Jin. But vote for the overall concept of the character more than anything else. Number four, Dracula. This one's a bit tougher because there's just been so many versions of the dude throughout film, but pick your favorite. I don't care if it's Lugosi, Oldman, Lee, or hell, Hamilton, you're voting for Dracula himself, the greatest vampire of all. Number five, Frankenstein. Speaking of classic monsters, how about Frank here? And, and I don't want nitpicking about where he's Frankenstein or the doctor is, because the doc created the monster. So he's his son, and he takes his name. Got it? Again, lots of variations to choose from here. Number six, Freddy. Freddy Krueger. I mean, there's really only one Freddy. I guess you could factor in Jackie Earl Haley if you want, but I'm not exactly sure if that's a good idea. But even though I'm sure that you're thinking England and England only, there's still variation between this is God Freddy and you forgot about the power glove Freddy. Number seven, Ghostface. Wow, so many versions to pick from here. Technically there's what, like there's nine ghost faces so far, and that doesn't include the TV show ones, but go ahead and pick your favorite and rack them up. Number eight, Hannibal Lecter. Here's one that you wouldn't think that there's a ton of versions to pick from, but there is. I'm sure you picture the Hopkin ones in your head, but don't count out the Mickelson one, or hell, even the Brian Cox one. He's, he's pretty cool too. Number nine, Jason Voorhees. Man, talk about a bunch of versions. Not only are you picking actor portrayals, I guess, but you're factoring in Kid Jason, Baghead, Hockey Mask, Zombie Jason, Uber Jason, Remake Jason, Pumpkin Face in a New York Sewer Jason, Jason showing up on Arsenio Hall Jason, all of them. Number 10, Jigsaw. I'm pretty sure that everyone will just be thinking about John Kramer right here, but I guess we should also give those apprentices some consideration, especially since you have a nine film series where the main villain died back in part three. But I guess think about all of those and perhaps throw the Billy Puppet in there for good measures. Number 11, Leatherface. Here's another one with so many options to pick from because through like 10 movies with all the same guy, we're just looking at reboot after reboot after reboot. So this runs the gamut from creepy part one leather to hawkish part three Bubba to whiny part four one to remake to the, to the cuz that I guess did his thing. Leather face did the thing. Number 12. Leprechaun. Much like the Wishmaster, or I guess sort of Leatherface, this is another one where I think it's supposed to be a different guy in each movie, but also kind of the same one. But for the most part, he seems fairly consistent with solid Warwick Davising going on. But then, yeah, that weird Origins one, and then a new one too. Number 13, Michael Myers. 
another case of picking a reboot, I guess, but maybe not as drastic as Leatherface, but there's definitely four distinct Michaels to consider here. You've got Cult of Thorn flavor, Karate Kicked variant, Hobo variant, and of course, beaten up in the sewer by the town Whipping Boy variant. Number 14, Norman Bates. Wow, uh, you'd think I would say Norman Bates and you'd be all like, no variants there, but there is. There's, there's classic Perkins, remake Vaughn, and don't forget TV show Normie. Uh, let's not forget the OG mama's boy who could teach Jason a thing or two about preserving his mommy's corpse. Number 15, Pennywise. The nice thing here is that you only have two options to consider. Um, are you thinking about the Tim Curry sort of more realistic clown that you'd probably see in real life? Or are you gonna go with the Skarsgård version It looks like a clown that you'd only see in a haunted house devoted to spooky clowns? Um, remember that we're ranking their film versions so Book Penny doesn't count. Number 16, Pinhead. Remember, you're not ranking the Hellraiser movies, you're ranking Pinhead. Those, those movies might suck, but let's not hold that against the Hell Priest here. Uh, you're probably going to want to think about the Bradley version as opposed to the Judgment Guy or the Revelations one, but the Jamie Clayton version might sway your thoughts a bit. Number 17, Pumpkinhead. Now, there's really only one version of this guy, I, I think. He's, he's kind of different in each movie, but he's also the same one uh, weird concept I know, but he but he's big and he's bad and he's by Stan Winston. So let's let's see how he stacks up here. He he may be the tallest one here. That's for sure. Number eighteen, Sadako or Samara. Again, we're voting conceptually, so roll these two into one. If you've only seen The Ring, then clearly you're going to be ranking Samara only. But if you're more into the Ringu version, rank up Sadako instead. They basically do the same thing. I, I know they have different details and all that, but essentially they boil down to the same spookiness. Number 19, The Tall Man. This is pretty rare because, yeah, there's only one version to rank. No remakes reboots, or variants. It's just the tall man as portrayed by Angus Scrim from the Phantasm films. And I, I hope that he gets some love and honor of Angus here. Number 20, Victor Crowley. Our final contestant here is Victor Crowley from the Hatchet films. And again, like the tall man, th there's no variants or differences to go from. He's just one character played by the same guy. I, I think that Victor, the tall man, and Chucky are the only three where you're not swayed by varying performances. So there you have it, 20 of the top horror villains. All I want you to do, this is very simple, if you would like to participate in this, simply rank them from number one to 20. Put your absolute favorite horror villain as number one, and put your least favorite as number 20 in dead last. And then send those as an email to me at themovietimelinesguy at gmail.com. I'm gonna take all of those rankings and tally them up, and we're gonna find out who is everybody's favorite horror villain and, and who, who's dead last. Um, send it quick, this is no joke, this is no April Fools, you only have about one week to do this. These are due Friday, April 7th, and then I'm going to tally them up, and very shortly afterwards, there'll be a video counting them down and checking it out. So please, send those in, and we'll see you soon. Thanks a lot.